All right, so let me expose this um, beautiful truth. Um, if you are in the world, right, which means that you're in your flesh, which means that you're in sin, right, and you're working a nine to five job, all my nine to five workers, let me tell you some truth. You are a slave in Satan's kingdom, my love. You are a pure slave in Satan's kingdom, my love. You work for the master mammon. And every day you get up and you do the same thing. All the entrepreneurs that claim that they have a business, but really they own a job. You are a slave as well, my love. You are a slave in Satan's kingdom. Get this. Get this word. Get this truth. Okay. Here's a quick truth when you work or live for God. You never do anything in and of yourself. You're always connected to the vine. And when you're connected to God. And everything like this video here that I'm giving you right now, all the videos, all the fruit that comes by way of the Holy Ghost, it comes to it comes to me and I just release it. Songs that I write or that I've written, they've came to me. I don't have to sit there and think of a song. It comes. God says, I will give seed to the sower. It's a real thing. So you never producing nothing on your own. God is giving you everything. This is what happens when you work and live for God. Be blessed. The reason you are a slave is because you work for money. You work for money. The Bible says that any master that you obey or anyone that you obey becomes your master. Okay? So you obey the master mammon okay which is a demon god okay when you come over into the king of in the kingdom of god you are no longer a slave okay you do not work for money you work for god okay so many are mixing the two so many are mixing the two and the bible clearly tells us that you cannot serve two masters okay either you hate one you love the other you love one and hate the other you cannot serve god and money but we got people with businesses all in the kingdom of god and they're not actually doing they're not fulfilling the mission and purpose in which they have been called okay we are to fulfill our ministry in Christ, which is preach the word, teach the word, in and out of season. <clears throat> it's to bear fruit for God's glory so that our fruit might remain. It's to go out and evangelize, to win souls for the kingdom. It's to do the work of the evangelist. It's to prophesy. It's to, you know, do everything that Jesus did, y'all. Do everything that Jesus did is to bear fruit for his glory. Okay, and many are not many are not doing this. They're working for themselves. They're not following or walking on the narrow path. <clears throat> Broad is the way that leads to destruction, and that way is the world. Okay, Christ died for us, so we live for him. You understand? When you live for God, you don't live for yourself. Everything is about God. So you do what God has called you to do. You do what God has called you to do. If God wants you to start a business or open a business, I guarantee you that it won't be a job. You won't own a job. I guarantee you that. Which means the business will work for itself. And it will add to the kingdom. It will somehow another tie into the kingdom of God. Okay? We got to get this, y'all. We have to get this. Okay? So many are slaving and they're working for money. And you are not living for God. It's time to choose 
whom you are going to serve. I had to bring you some truth because many don't know this. When I was over and I had two jobs and I was a workaholic and I was working for myself, I was a pure slave. Every day I got up and I did the same thing and I was working for money that I was never able to fully enjoy because you working just to pay bills. That's not what God wants for you, love. God does not want that life for you, love. He wants you to be able to have time. Rest, sleep in, travel, do what he wants you to do. Have leisure time, not slave on a job. Come home, have a few hours to eat, go to bed, wake up and do it all over again. Your days turn, turn into nights. Your nights turn into days. You a pure slave. All right? So this is some truth for all my nine to five workers about you working to get money and you working for a bag and you booked and busy. You sound foolish to God. Be blessed.